Hi, I'm Lenny Fukshansky, and I would like to introduce my paper on similarity classes of well-rounded sublattices of Z2 to be published in Journal Number Theory. So let's see. Um, we first define the minimum of a lattice lambda in our n to be simply the minimum of Euclidean norms of all non-zero vectors. Let us write S of lambda for the set of all minimal vectors in lambda. Then a lattice is called well round is called well rounded if the dimension of the space spanned over reals by the set of minimal vectors is equal to the rank of the lattice. So our goal is to study the distribution of well rounded sublattices of Z2. Uh, this is a sequel to uh, my previous paper published in Journal of Number Theory, uh, issue 128 in 2008. Uh, so, the approach we take here is that of similarity classes. Uh, let's recall that two lattices, lambda 1 and lambda 2, are called similar if it is possible to obtain lambda 1 from lambda 2 by rotation and dilation. Uh, the main theorem we prove is that the set of similarity classes of all well-rounded sublattices of Z2 forms non-commutative, infinitely generated monoid. Uh, we do this by relating uh, the similarity classes to a certain subset of primitive Pythagorean triples, showing that there is a bijective correspondence, and then the operation of the, uh, on this monoid is defined uh, original on Pythagorean triples, and then uh, we pull it back under this bijection. It also turns out that each such similarity class has structure of an ideal in Gaussian integers. Now we use this characterization of similarity classes to prove a certain result about a so-called zeta function of well-rounded sublattices of Z2. Namely, let's define Dirichlet series, uh, this zeta 1 of S, to be simply the sum running over all well-rounded sublattices lambda of Z2 of determinant of this sublattice lambda to the power of minus S, where S is a complex variable. Uh, then we can prove that uh, this Dirichlet series defines an analytic function uh, for in the entire half-plane real part of S greater than 1. And at S equal to 1, it has a pole of order 2 uh, in the sense that uh, this limit, uh, so as S tends to 1, uh, of uh, absolute value of S minus 1 to the power 2 times this uh, series, that this limit is actually finite and greater than 0. Thank you very much.